Hey drivers, welcome back to another one. Many of us grew up watching Takumi fly down the mountainside, rolling through gears and doing fancy footwork, but honestly, we didn't really know what it all meant. Today will be your first step in unraveling the secrets of the basics of driving a standard transmission car. Keep in mind, this video is for entertainment purposes only. To learn to drive a manual car, please seek professional help. Later in the series, you will also learn how to do other advanced techniques such as heel toe downshifting, drifting, and more. Also, it takes a lot of time to make these videos, so if you'd like to support me, please pick up a Drive Standard t-shirt over at driftbrush.com. This is my own brand. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and check it out and also show others that you have a passion to drive. Alright drivers, so let's get started. So first is understanding what are all the parts you'll be interacting with and their purpose. I'll be using the Logitech G920 wheel with the added H pattern shifter in this tutorial. Now I drive a left hand drive vehicle, so in a real car the shifter is on my right between me and the passenger seat. In many other countries like Japan, cars are set up as right hand drive, so the shifter will be on the left between you and the passenger seat. Set your rig up for the style of car you will drive most for the most immersive driving experience. Now on to other parts, starting with the far left pedal, the clutch pedal. The clutch pedal is located directly to the left of the brake pedal. This is to be operated only with your left foot. The clutch pedal works by connecting the car's engine to the transmission. When the clutch pedal is in the up position, which is toward the driver, the transmission is fully connected to the engine. So if the car is in gear, it will move down, forward, or backward depending on the gear you have selected. 1 through 6 are reverse gear. If the clutch pedal is in the down position, toward the floorboard, then the engine will not be connected to the transmission and the car won't be able to receive power from the engine. So on to another part, the parking brake. Now many of you will not have a parking brake set up on your rig. The parking brake is a critical part to operating a manual car safely. It's typically hand operated and is located near the center console of the car. It should not ever be confused with the brake pedal that is by the gas pedal on the floor. Essentially it is used to keep the vehicle from rolling while placed in neutral when the brake pedal is not to press down or push down. Also, the parking brake is what will be used to keep the vehicle stationary while the ignition is off and the vehicle is parked. Many sims out there will allow you to map a button to the parking brake if you want to. In this tutorial though, I'm teaching you how to drive a manual car in a video game, so I won't be using this feature much if not at all. Okay, moving on. So hopefully you already know what the next two pedals are for, but if not, let's go ahead and go through it. The center pedal is the brake pedal, which will slow down the car, and the far right pedal to the right of it is the gas pedal or throttle pedal. That will allow you to give power to the car and get moving down the road. Okay, so that covers those. Now looking at the shifter. This is what's called an H pattern shifter. So here's the order of shifting with this Logitech shifter. First we have first gear, then second, then third, fourth, fifth, and then sixth. And then if you push down and over and back where the normally you would see sixth gear, this would be the reverse gear. So as a review on the reverse gear, you push down while it's in neutral position and back over to the sixth gear and that's where reverse will be. Now leaving it in the middle, that's neutral. I recommend practicing rolling through the gears on your sim setup and getting familiar with it. Okay, so that pretty much covers most of the things besides the steering wheel, but I think you guys already know what that does. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop in the car. We're going to be using Audible Ballista 2 and a subtle Corsa in this tutorial. Okay, drivers, so let's go ahead and do this. We are going to be driving in a Chevrolet Camaro SS. We are in the game Audible Ballista 2, but this also applies to a subtle Corsa, iRacing, any other sim that you're driving. Uh, we are driving in a six gear H pattern car. This is one of the only few ones in this game. There's also a Formula car as well as a, uh, I believe a McLaren that also has that. Otherwise, most of them are sequential shifters are a five gear uh, car. So, but this one will actually allow us to use all six gears. So that's why I picked this car today. You know, the brakes are super mushy. Another reason I picked uh, this game to teach you guys is because when you actually stall the car, it stalls and it's done and you can't get going if you set it up that way unless you turn on the, the ignition again and, and get the car rolling again. Now in a subtle Corsa, it does all that for you when you press on the gas on the throttle and it turns on the car and you can get rolling again. And that's not extremely realistic. Uh, I couldn't find an option to do that. Maybe there is some sort of way to set that up, but I don't know it personally. 
Um, but we will also take a look at that game as well uh, for those of you that are big fans of Subtle Corsa and I'll show you guys how to do the very same thing in there as well. Um, okay, so let's get familiar with the vehicle. Uh, when you are parked, if you were in a real car, you would want the car. Once again, uh, the e-brake on in full, so you don't want to have the car rolling forward and backward. Uh, we are only going to be practicing on a flat ground, so find a nice level track. Uh, this track is Monza. It's one of the flattest tracks that are out there. Uh, so this will be a really good way to get learning. Uh, more advanced thing is learning how to go up on a hill if you stalled or, you know, keeping the car from rolling downhill uh, and, and still be able to keep from stalling the vehicle. So let's go ahead and get familiar with the car once again. Uh, you can see there's three cameras I have set up. So there's the main camera, hello. And then we have the pedals down there, the pedal camera. So you can take a look at that. And then also the shifter. So you guys can see all that and see what I'm doing as we go through this lesson. All right, so one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the car. You don't have to do that every time. The car's already on, it's on already, that's fine. So we're gonna start the car, but to do that, we're gonna make sure that our foot is on the brake. Car's in neutral. E-brake can now come off because your foot is on the brake. You're gonna push the clutch all the way in to disengage the clutch. And then we're gonna turn on the vehicle. There we go, vehicle is on. And now we're gonna get rolling. Now the car will roll under its own power right at this level as we slowly let off the clutch and we're in first gear. You don't have to use the throttle to get the car rolling. So this is very important to learn first. Uh, is when that clutch engagement point happens. Um, now in a real vehicle, you can feel that clutch engaging, but in a game like this, with the Logitech G920 pedals, you can't feel it. Now there are some recent uh, announced pedals that actually give you a tactical feel in the, the pedals and you can set it up so you can feel the clutch engagement point or the rumble of the engine and things like that. Those are like thousands of dollars. So uh, hopefully they, the technology gets a little cheaper over time and uh, you'll start seeing that in uh, lower uh, grade pedals like this at some point. Uh, but no, no worries, uh, you can still learn how to do it. You just have to use your eyes and your ears to hear what, when that clutch is engaging. Uh, so getting really skilled at l being smooth on the clutch, letting it off nice and easy and understanding when that engagement point is, is the real trick here. So we're gonna go ahead, once again, my foot is on the brake, clutch is all the way down, we are in neutral. We're gonna shift into first gear and then I'm going to let off the brake. We are on flat ground, so that's okay. We're not gonna roll backwards or forwards. And we are slowly gonna let off the clutch until it engages. And you see, the clutch is engaged and the car is rolling under its own power, all right? So my foot is on the brake. Once again, I put the car back in neutral. So we're at that starting position. I could let off the clutch at this point, see? Nothing's happening because the car is in neutral. Uh, except the car's rolling backwards just a little bit because I guess there's a little bit of a decline behind me. But if I put my foot on the brake, the car stops, the car's in neutral. I'm gonna push down the clutch to disengage the clutch. I'm gonna shift into first. I'm gonna let off the brake. And let's see what happens if I let off too quickly. There we go, we stalled the car. You saw it uh, buck a little bit there. It's like, oh my goodness. In a real car, you'd be like, oh my god, oh, what did I do? Did I kill your car? Did I hurt your car? I'm so sorry. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. So the key is practice that for a little while, letting off the clutch nice and easy and letting the car roll under its own power. Find that engagement point. That's going to be very important to get down right. So let's go ahead and start the car once again. We are going to try that again. So foot is on the brake, car is in neutral. Clutch is fully disengaged because my foot is pressed down on it. I'm going to shift into first. I'm going to let go of the brake. I'm going to slowly let off. Now, I didn't let off slowly enough. Look, I stalled the car. It's the first time in a while. Let's see if I can do that again. Very neutral. Brake and clutch fully pressed down. I'm going to let go of the brake. I'm going to shift into first. And then I'm going to slowly let off the clutch. And there we go, car's rolling. Okay, so now we are going to just roll along and get comfortable in this position. Coming up to the uh, the turn of doom here. <laughs> 
so many races end right at the very beginning of this track. All right, so now we're rolling along. As you can see, uh, you're gonna wanna pay attention to a couple things here. So you can see your speed right there. I think I have it set to miles per hour and not kilometers. So that should be accurate. And you can see on the right here hand side is the tachometer. You have uh, the RPM. So you can see uh, we're running, running somewhere around uh, 4,500 RPM. Uh, five grand is that, six grand is six. So 6,000 RPM. And the thing is you don't want to damage your engine. If you are hitting off that red line, you are going to damage your engine in time. So the key is you're gonna to wanna to shift up before you get to that. Now granted, you don't always have to shift when you're just hitting red line, but in racing, uh, you do, because you're trying to get the most out of each gear uh, and get into that power range. Now the power, the power band in each car is a little different as well, so knowing when to shift can be different for it depending on the vehicle. But we're not gonna go into that today. Uh, we're just gonna focus on learning how to just get the car moving down the road. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to shift into second. It's the same process as we did to get going. So you can see my foot is off the clutch. You never wanna leave your foot sitting on the clutch while you're driving, because then you're just riding the clutch and you can actually wear it out in real life. You don't wanna do that. So put your foot off the side. Also, do not leave your hand sitting and resting on the shifter, uh, even if it's in neutral. You can mess up your synchros in there. You really don't want to do that. Uh, it's just bad habit to get into. So let's go ahead and shift up to second. To do that, uh, we're going to make sure we're going at a decent speed. And we're going to, once again, push down the clutch that disengages the engine, shift into second, and then you can have your foot off the gas if you want to at this point, and let go of the clutch, and now we're in second. Now, why did I take my foot off the gas? Uh, if I were in a real car, um, with my foot on the gas, it's going to put a lot of heat into the clutch. And that can wear it out over time. You can do that in real life, but I only recommend it if you're good at being that smooth transition. The engagement point and also having your foot on the throttle and finding that. And that's going to be very important when you're racing. Uh, you're going to want to be able to let go of the clutch and get on the throttle at just that sweet time to maintain your power because you you notice if my foot is coming off the gas <laughs> and then I'm disengaging the clutch I'm losing power I'm the, I'm no longer giving power to the engine so you want to get on the power as quickly as possible so in that case yes you will be having your foot on the gas as you're coming off like I did there but I bogged the engine out because we're going too slow so now we're gonna come to a stop to do that I'm going to put my foot down on the clutch and then I can put my foot on the brake and slow down and then I'm gonna shift into neutral okay at this point my foot is on the brake I can let go of the clutch and we are now stopped pull the e-brake and let go of the brake and we would stay in this one spot whether we're on a decline or incline Okay, so let's do that one more time. We're gonna get rolling. I'm gonna put engage, disengage the clutch, shift into first, and then I'm going to apply throttle this time, which makes it a little easier, just a little bit, up to 2,000 RPM or so, depending on the car, and I'm gonna slowly engage the clutch by letting go of the pedal. And now we're rolling. So you'll probably notice doing that, it's a bit easier to get going. You're not stalling as much. And that's because you're giving it a little bit of throttle so the car doesn't just bog out from a start, okay? So that's what you're naturally gonna do more so in real life, on a daily basis. Most people do not start the car rolling just using the clutch and in first and no throttle. You always apply a little bit of throttle. But the reason I had you do that exercise earlier is so you can get familiar with the engagement point of your clutch. That's very key, is a, is a starting place. All right. So now we're gonna come to a stop here. Once again, I did that real fast. But to come to a stop, let me get going again, I'll show you. I'm going to press down the clutch, shift into neutral, Put my foot on the brake, 
and come to a stop. All right, so now we're going, we're sitting here. Our foot is just on the brake. We are going to go ahead and roll down this straight here and we're going to start shifting up into second. Once we get past the turn of doom, we're going to shift up to third and we're going to just con continue to do that, okay? So clutch in, put off the brake. We're going to apply a little bit of throttle. We're in first now, shift it into first. Let off the clutch. There we go, that was not very smooth. You saw it buckle a little bit there. Now we're gonna shift into second, clutch in. Put off the throttle a bit. Put on the throttle. And letting go of the clutch, I'm in second. There we go. So it's the same process over and over uh, as you're going up through gears. And now we are going to go into third. Clutch in, shift into third, a little bit of throttle, let go of the clutch. And now we're in third. Now, what about downshifting? Well, uh, there in racing, you typically would use a, a method called uh, heel tone downshifting to our rev matching, essentially, to match your RPMs and everything as you downshift. But we're not going to do that today. That's going to be in the next lesson. So we're going to just go a little slower through here on the brake. I'm staying in third. And get on a straight to show you guys how to do this. All right, so we're going to slowly go down in gear. We're going to go from third down to second. So in able to do that, you want to make sure that you're going at the appropriate speed for each gear as you do that. So we're going to go ahead and press down the clutch. Shift down to second and then let go of the clutch. So now you see we're in second. Okay? Same thing going down the first. But make sure that you're slowing down. We're going to give a little bit of break, okay? Clutch in. Shift into first. Let go of the clutch. Now we're in first. Now, I'm going to show you guys without explaining it too much what happens if you go down too fast to a lower gear when you're going too quick. Second. Okay, so now I'm in first. If I was in a turn doing that, that could be really detrimental. I could spin out. Like that. All right. So you want to make sure you're going downshift into the appropriate gear at the right time at the right speed. And you'll get familiar with that as you're driving, as you're practicing. You'll get familiar with, with what RPM and what speed. And then each car is a little different. So just get, uh, get a little practice with it. Okay, so I think that's all we need to know at this level. Let's go ahead and jump into another sim. We're going to move over to a subtle Corsa. All right, drivers, we are in a subtle Corsa, uh, but let's keep going here. I'm going to show you guys how to go in reverse. That's something I haven't shown you yet. Uh, so it's the same process as getting going forward. It's just going to go backwards. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go in reverse. You can push the clutch down to the ground. See, my foot is on the brake. I don't really need it there because we're on flat ground and we're at Monza. But I'm going to go ahead and push the shifter down and then roll over to where a sixth gear would have been or is and that's going to put us in reverse gear so i'm going to show you guys again push down over six okay so now i'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of throttle i'm going to let go of the clutch slowly and that puts us in reverse so we're moving backwards and that can be quite sickening in vr <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and stop to stop i'm going to go ahead and push down the clutch Put on the brake, shift into neutral, and there we go. So, same thing moving forward, clutch in, foot is on the brake already, you're in neutral, okay? So, clutch in, shift into first, and let off the brake, give it a little bit of throttle, and then let go of the clutch to disengage it, or to re engage it to the engine. 
So now we're rolling. Pretty easy, huh? All right, so same deal. Go up to second. We're about redlining here. Clutch in, shift into second. Off throttle, slowly on the throttle. Ah, and then let go of the clutch. We're in second. Now we're gonna go down to first. So we're gonna give a little bit of gas to get going. We're gonna get on the brake, clutch in, shift into first, let go of the clutch. Nice and easy. And I took my foot off the brake and back on the throttle as you saw there in that process. All right. So now I'm just going to drive a little faster. I'm going to roll through the gears. We're in second now. Third. Fourth. And this car only has five gears. So we won't be able to go to the sixth gear, but that's where we would top out. Now we're gonna slow down, clutch in, shifting into third, second. There you go. So next up guys, I think uh, once you get the hang of this, we're gonna learn how to do rev matching. Uh, we're gonna use the heel toe down shifting method to do that. You see, usually when people are slowing down a stoplight and blipping their throttle, they're not just trying to show off what they're doing, is they're actually rev matching to uh, match the RPMs and letting the engine slow them down a little bit, all right? And that's a really good technique in racing. As well as we'll learn how to uh, left foot brake. That's the thing that you've seen Takami do uh, going downhill, his foot will move over here and he's using his left foot to brake. Like that, you see? And that's very important in racing as well. So we'll learn this in the next tutorial. Um, please pick up a shirt over at driftbrush.com. I always appreciate the support and as well as a bunch of other shirts that you guys might like. Um, also like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I always appreciate the support. And as always guys, drive safe.